Out front now, Nadia Tolokonikova. She is a Russian activist and member of Pussy Riot, who was jailed for 21 months in Russia for criticizing Putin. They called it hooliganism. Russia recently opened another criminal trial against her, another case in response to an art show that included burning a portrait of Putin. So, Nadia, I really appreciate uh, your time. And, you know, you hear some of these Russian women uh, in that report that we just played saying, uh, one of them says, I support President Putin. He does everything right, good man, we love him. Is this the view of most Russians even now? I highly doubt it. Um, it's um, really difficult to measure um, what the public actually thinks about Putin because uh, it's incredibly costly to criticize him. Um, we see a lot of dozens of political prisoners in Russia and they're appearing every day. People are getting eight years for, um, for pushing like button on Instagram. Yeah. And it makes it incredibly dangerous for people to say something against Putin. There was a case recently where um, a 11 years old girl made um, a, a drawing with a Ukrainian flag and she was uh, she's currently in foster care and her dad um, is under arrest. Foster care and her foster father care. under arrest, exactly. 11 years old. 11 years old. It's terrifying. I mean, but that, that that brings it home. You know, you know, because you spent almost two years in a Russian prison, um, what happens when you cross Putin in any way? Yeah. Um, what risks are people taking now who speak out? Mm, they can be arrested. Their family members can be arrested. Um, they can be murdered as Boris uh, Nemtsov or to other friends of mine who died because they were criticizing Putin and his regime. Um, it's, um, <laughs> it's not something that I would advise people to do, to go openly uh, against the war of or Vladimir Putin, or at least uh, if they are in Russia currently. Um, they can make this choice for themselves, but um, I wouldn't advise it because I don't think it's uh, it's it's worth to risk your life and life of uh, your relatives. Um, that's why whenever Russians are being criticized for not doing enough, yeah. I I feel for them because a, a lot of uh, a lot of people I know they have to stay in Russia. They don't have voice. Um, they simply cannot speak out against um, the regime because it's it became just incredibly dangerous. And they also cannot um, leave the country because not everyone is privileged enough to be able to leave the country mm -hmm. and start a new life somewhere else. How bad is it being in prison in Russia? I mean, you sit here, you spent 21 months away from a child uh, that, that you had, um, and you had to serve that time. It's, uh, it's a pretty... It, it, it's really um, a hell on earth, um, especially when you're being moved to the penal colony where you have to work by law, you have to work, and uh, it's uh, practically slave labor. Um, luckily, I was able to fight against the system, and uh, years later, after I got out of jail, my um, prison boss, ex-prison boss uh, was sentenced for organizing a system of slave labor in a penal colony where I served my time. I was forced to sell police uniforms and military uniforms. So these days, people who oppose Putin and who say something against the war, they're being sent to colonies to produce military uniforms. That's an incredible irony, horrible irony. I know you just hosted a benefit auction at Sotheby's. It was called My Body, My Business, right? And it's Pussy Riot, you have been, right? It's, it's performance, it's, it's punk, but it's also art. Uh, and this has been crucial to you. The auction is in honor of International Women's Day, uh, benefiting uh, reproductive organizations worldwide. So Putin today, he spoke about International Women's Day, he actually came out and spoke, and I wanted to play for you part of what he said the holiday means to Russia. It is always filled with special warmth and meaning, with the most kind, joyful, and sincere feelings, because this reverence and respect towards women and motherhood is an unconditional value for us, something we have been passing on from generation to generation. That was today. Mm, such a clown. That's really all there is to say? Pretty much. 
Well, I appreciate your taking the time and Thank talking you. to me. And, 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 you know, you say what you have to say. Sometimes you only need a couple of words <laughs> to say something when, when, you, when it's what you feel and it's, uh, it, it says it all. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> it, Nadia.